So with only a week until Wimbledon, the seedings have now been set, and it's been a very quick turnaround, of course. The French Open was only a couple weeks ago. Two weeks in, the rankings have changed a little bit, and we have a number one ranking for Carlos Alcaraz. He's going to be the top seed at Wimbledon. Let's go have a look at the 32 seeds for both the men and the women. So let's start with the women's seeds for Wimbledon, because there are some really lower-ranked, dangerous players. Starting number 32 with Buskova, just sneaking into the seeds. Sharif will be number 31 with Martic at number 30. Bagu at 29. Mertens at 28. Pera comes in at 27 with Kalanina at number 26. Keys will be 25. Zhang will be 24 with Lynette at 23. Potapova comes in at number 22 with Alexandrova at 21, who's been very dangerous, so keep an eye on her. Vekic also very dangerous at number 20 with Azarenka at number 19. Pliskova at number 18. And Ostapenko at number 17. And remember, the top 16 and and the bottom 16 from 17 to 32 could clash in the third round. So we could get one of the top 10 players playing Ostapenko in the third round. So keep that in mind. Mukova, she comes in at 16 with Samsonova at 15. Benchich at 14. Hadajmaier at 13 with Kudamatova at number 12. Kazakina at 11 with Krajikova at 10. Kvitova comes in at number 9 after a good win last week. And now for the top 8 with Zachary at number 8. Goff at number 7. Jabur at number 6. Garcia at five, Pagula is going to be number four with Rabakina at three, Sabalenka at two, and Sviantec is the top seed for Wimbledon. And of course, the top four seeds won't play until the semifinals. Top eight won't play until the quarterfinals. And the top 16 won't meet any earlier than a fourth round. Like I said, the top 16 and the bottom 16 could play as early as the third round. So we could get some banger first week clashes between some of those top guns and players like Alexandrova or Vekic or even Ostapenko, who are all very dangerous third round opponents. Jumping over to the men's side of things now and starting at number 32 with Fakina into that spot. Kyrgios is at the 31 spot with Echeverria at 30, Grigspor at 29, Evans at 28, with Shapovalov at 27, Jarry at 26, Nishioka at 25, Bublik, after his good win last week, gets 24th seed, with Korda at number 23, Dimitrov at 22, RBA at 21, Struff is at number 20, Alexander Zverev is at number 19, so just like kind of like Ostapenko, he could play someone in the top 10 very early on. Sarundalo at 18, her catch at number 17, Paul sneaks into that top 16, with Diminor at number 15, Musetti at 14, Chorich at 13, Nori at 12, Ojeli Asim at number 11, with Tiafo at number 10, Fritz at number 9, and now for the top 8, Sinner at number 8, Rublev at 7, Runa at 6, Pass at 5, just missing out on a top 4 seed, which means you could play someone in the top 4 as early as the quarterfinals. Rude made the top 4 at number 4 with Medvedev at 3, Djokovic at 2, and Alcaraz, the number 1 seed for the second consecutive Grand Slam. And like I said, it's very tough for Pass because now he might have to play Alcaraz potentially, or even Djokovic potentially, in a quarterfinal instead of a semi. So big difference between 4 and 5. But they're the top 32 seeds for the men's side. Unless someone withdraws, which there are a lot of injury clouds in that top 32. That is what it's going to look like going into Wimbledon and, of course, the draw on Friday. So there you have it. 32 seeds for the men and the women locked in after the second week of the grass court season. Going into Wimbledon, uh, of course, is only a week away. This time next week, we'll be talking about Wimbledon a hell of a lot more. But... Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think out of that 32 seeds is going to withdraw? Because there's a lot of players there with an injury cloud. Of course, Kyrgios, he hasn't been playing very well lately. Of course, hasn't been playing at all lately. So there are the seeds locked in for the draw coming out on Friday. Make sure you join us for that.